guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you what we're gonna be using for our fourth six weeks of homeschool. So, if you watched my previous videos, I showed you that we started the artist unit in December and we fell in love with it. Um, we were gonna take it one lesson a week, but my son absolutely loves it and he wants to do it every single day. So let me show you what that looks like. If you're new to my channel, we use Gather Round. We've actually used it for about a year and a half now. They are unit studies. I do have better explanations of Gather Round in some of my other videos. And you can also see a flip through of what this teacher's guide looks like on my channel if you wanna go search for that video. If you've never tried Gather Round and you were interested, this artist is the one I would recommend so far out of all the ones we've done. We've done continents and then we've done the other science-based students. This one has been our favorite so far. Now gather around if you're new is all your subjects except for math. It's open and go and it is so much fun. It has changed our homeschool and we absolutely love it. And this one is by far my favorite. Now it is not an artist a day. Now when I first heard her coming out with this, I thought, oh, that's gonna be so boring because I really didn't wanna learn about artists every single day. I just pictured like painters and and while I love those kind of things, that wasn't interesting to me. And that's not what this unit is at all. This unit has all forms of art, from painting, to music, to acting, to baking, to design. Everything's in here and your kiddos are sure to find something in here that they love. Now, another thing I wanna share with you is we do the student notebooks a little bit differently. I don't just print them out the way they are. I go through each and every page and see what's gonna work for us and what isn't, and I print out what I want to. Something new about these units in year two, they do come with spelling words, and so I just made myself, I don't know if you can see it, I just made these myself a little way for my son to practice spelling each week, and I just put them in the front of the notebook so he would have some way to practice. He's 12, so he doesn't necessarily want to like stamp them in Play-Doh or move around letter tiles, which are great ideas to practice spelling, but he just wants to like write it and be done with it. That's kind of how he is. So I made him those pages to go in the front. And then, like I said, I don't print every page. When we read The Dot, which is a recommended book in the book list at the front of the unit, um, we talked about International Dot Day. There is also an artist profile in there that we've done. He chose to do Michael Jackson. He's obsessed with Michael Jackson and probably has been since he was about four. So much that he learns the dances. He's very much into it. So he chose Michael Jackson as his artist. And he will use, if I can find it, he's using the Who Was Michael Jackson book to help him fill out the artist profile. And that's something that they will work on throughout the entire unit is the artist profile. So he's really enjoying that. I wanna show you just a few more pages of it. Um, so here's the language arts. And so, so far we've talked about commas and types of sentences and they have changed it up for year two. You don't do this whole page in one day. You come back to it on different days and finish up your language arts. This is when we learned about the printing press and we use stamps. Here he recreated sunflowers. And there are great, you know, pages in the student notebook. We just sometimes like to change things up. So some of this stuff you'll see belongs in the notebook like the science experiment. It came straight from the student notebook. I always usually print the science experiments. And I also like the, um, the note taking pages. I like those too, because I'm really trying to teach him how to take notes while I'm reading. So there's a lot of great things in here, along with their writing project, which is the artist study. They're learning all about plagiarism, which is really important to know about. Um, like I said, there's musicians, there's uh, short stories where you are learning about all about the short story and how to write one. So like this is how to plan one out. And then I went ahead and added just want to show you how I kind of change it up for ourselves, And of course, I can't turn the page. 
I went ahead and added him a writing template. That's something that wasn't included, but I feel like if you're going to write a short story, you need to have the template in your book, you know, to do it. Uh, let's show you some more language arts. So this is all about punctuation. And like I said, I just go through and print what I want. Um, on the Playwrights and Screenwriters, which is Lesson 11, I found this really neat printable here where they can create their own play and the template's already set up for them. So I just love to add in little things like that that just kind of bring the unit to life and make it a little bit easier for me so I'm not having to scramble for it at the last minute. So I'll share this again with you when we're all done with the unit. But that's what we're going to be working on. To go along with that unit, we're going to read Who Was Walt Disney. That's recommended in the book list. If you're new, the book list is just a suggestion. If you already have books at home, go ahead and use those. We already have this one, so we're going to read Who Was Walt Disney. And then I even found, and I'll try to link it below, um, this was a free little book or unit study that goes with this book. So I thought we would do a little bit of work from there. It has some copy work. It has... A word search, a crossword puzzle, it's got a character sketch, you do his family tree. I can't remember who it's from. I have it saved on my computer, so I'll try to link it down below. And there's even a little timeline to fill out. So we're going to try to do that along with the artist. Also, if you've been following along with us, um, I asked him to work on a project, and this six weeks he decided he wanted to make his own game like a card game or a board game and so I thought it would be perfect to read who was Milton Bradley I'm sorry I have an obsession with these books and anytime I see one I'm gonna pick it up I love to find them at Goodwill and secondhand stores and Ollie's has them a lot um, but I knew who was Milton Bradley would be perfect so that he could learn all about how to make games and then I also found this free unit study just a quick Pinterest search found me both of those unit studies. They were free. This one's from peanutbutterfishlessons.com. I'll try to link it below so you can check it out. But in this, there's a timeline and there's even a place uh, to make your own game. There's like a, a blank game board and there's a place to design your own game. And I think that's going to be perfect to go together. So that's something we're going to work on as well. Also, we're going to try to add in typing. Now, I know that there is a artist typing, but I did not know that at the beginning of the year. I didn't know she was going to come out with typing. So I went ahead and purchased the PDF of The Good and the Beautiful. So we're just going to go ahead and go with this since I've already bought it. And he can just work on this whenever he feels like it. Then, because we do love fun schooling, um, Fridays are going to be fun schooling Fridays. And I'm just going to show you a few of the things that we use. He loves the All About Space book, and we just tab the pages that he wants to work on. This is a great one. I uh, just bought the PDF. Nope, didn't buy it. It was free. It was free on Black Friday. Explorers and Pioneers, you could get the PDF for free. If you do not follow them on Facebook, you need to because they are always offering 50% off or buy one get one 50% off and they also have free journals so you want to go check them out I'll try to link their Facebook page down below and then he also has a core journal where he can study wherever he wants to. he can study whatever he wants to um, let's see what I leave out math um, as you know teaching textbooks 4.0 is going really really well he loves all the features of it and it's going good so we do that a few days a week and then this is his favorite math book are you a math genius this is another fun schooling journal and i'll link it below also this one's just fun it doesn't take very long and he enjoys that the last thing i want to try to do and i don't know if i'm going to go with the gather round mini unit they are coming out with an underground railroad mini unit i think it's called underground to canada that will be coming out i don't know if i'm going to purchase that or if i just want to read this what was the underground railroad I've kind of located um, a free unit study. I haven't printed it out yet or really looked through it yet, so I'm not sure. If I look at it and I find that it seems to be pretty good, I'll link it in the description box below so that you can find it. But I would love to do this into February. I feel like this is something 
my son would find very interesting. And there's actually a location very close to us that we can go and check out. And anytime we can go on a field trip, I want to do it. So this is what we're using for our fourth six weeks. If you have any questions about Gather Around Homeschool or any of the other things that we're using, please let me know in comments because I love chatting with you about all of this curriculum. And as always, thank you so much for watching.